Arrest in connection with a series of sexual assaults. Police say a 30-year-old man is responsible for raping two women at gunpoint in King Sessing. Our Greg Payne live at police headquarters with the details tonight. I am sure a lot of women are feeling very comforted by this news here tonight, Greg. Yes, Sheba, definitely great news to hear. And those living in the King Sessing neighborhood say that they have been living on edge over the last few days because of this situation. And they say with this recent news, it's comforting. There was a sense of relief in the King Sessing neighborhood. Oh, it was wonderful. Now that people can walk around safe, the women can be safe. The reason for that sense of security is that police have arrested 30-year-old Michael Henry of Philadelphia, who they say is a man behind two gunpoint rapes last week in the King Sessing neighborhood. You don't have to keep looking over your shoulder, finding out to see if that person is following you or trying to, you know, attack you. So I'm happy that they, they caught him. Police say the first rape happened around 3 a.m. last Saturday. A woman in a car was stopped at a traffic light at 55th in King Sessing. The suspect, who was wearing a blue surgical mask, approached, pointed a gun, and demanded money. After she gave him cash, he forced his way into the vehicle and ordered her to drive to St. Bernard Street, where he sexually assaulted her inside the vehicle. He then drove the victim to the ATM, forcing her to take out money. No means no, is all I can say. Police say the second rape happened the next day at around 5 p.m. A woman was walking on the 5100 block of Springfield Avenue when the suspect came up behind her, pointed a gun, and demanded money. He then forced the woman into an alley off of Paxson Street where he raped her. Without women, there would be no men. So why are you going to put your hands on a woman? Come on, man. Henry is being charged with several offenses, including rape, aggravated assault, and robbery. He's, he's a coward. You get everything that's coming to him, he deserves it. I'm happy that they, they caught him. Um, if they can do that more often with a lot of the rapists in the area, all the women in the city will be fine. Now, police say what really helped them be able to solve this case is the tips that came in from community members and also surveillance video that was given to them. Reporting live here outside of the Philadelphia Police Headquarters, I'm Greg Payne, Fox 29 News. Uh